know everybody. Uh, I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to do a hoop trick that I call the floating isolation or the getaway isolation. Uh, basically, it's a normal isolation, but you gotta kind of like use your imagination as if the hoop is getting away from you and you're trying to control it and it's just like pretty much going all over the place, but you're trying to, you know, get it. So you gotta mainly use your imagination in order to uh, figure this trick out or be able to do this trick. So basically, you know, you do your normal isolation, right? Normal isolation going comfortably. And then you come in and you start to, you know, do your normal two-handed isolation. And since you're doing the two hand, now you start thinking about this hoop getting away from you. Or thinking, you know, outside of the isolated area. So you kind of like push it outside of the isolated area yourself. It's like, it's more of your arms where your arms are going. So it's mainly like you're just swinging your arms around, but you're giving yourself a sense that, you know what I'm saying, the hoop or the circle is getting away from you. pushing it in a way but you have to quickly grab hold to it the best way that I can explain it but it's like the hoop is getting away from you and you're trying to contain it but you can't so you're grabbing it as much as you can to contain it and you're imagining it floating so you make up how it's getting away from up how to grab it. You know what I'm saying? You're using your imagination to put the hoop in a different place, but it's like you're yanking it from that place. trying to do a normal isolation. My hoop almost got away from me. Uh, and I happened to be videoing myself when it happened. So when I watched it, I was like, hey, that's, you know, kind of cool looking. That was kind of cool looking. And so I've been doing it ever since. But you're basically imagining the hoop is getting away from you. But you're trying to still contain it or sustain it, basically. back to you to make sure that you're able to constantly sustain it as much as you can. Once you start figuring it out, it'll start getting straighter for you. It won't look so wobbly. Uh, but sometimes even that wobbly kind of looks good if it's uh, done in between it. So don't worry about it being not being absolutely straight. That's how you do a floating isolation or the getaway isolation the getaway loop uh thanks for watching i hope that was helpful